So I've recently found a way to to do chainmail. Um, I was creating a character, and he had to have a medieval outfit on. And I was working in ZBrush, and the problem was that you know you can obviously do these kinds of things in ZBrush, but when exporting that object for animation, you know problems arises in the in the in the polygon count and the heaviness of the mesh um, so I found a way in blender so say you model the you know the object in ZBrush and you bring it into something like blender and it's got to have a chainmail outfit on this would be the way I would do it um, so we're looking at a base mesh here which would be kind of a cloth uh, let's just subdivide that guy give it a lot of segments there and we'll go to cloth and we'll give it self collisions and then let's just fix it on the top uh, pin it go to weight mode just select that just paint that one so we're going to say pin group yeah so it should pop up there so it automatically creates the, the word group for that weight paint that i did okay and we can well let's not yeah we can animate this now let's animate this move it back a bit move it forward a bit again let's create some collisions for it a mesh let's go uv sphere collision rigid body and might be so it'll create a nice eh, move it a bit forward let's keyframe it so we can go forward there and something like that and let's just sake let's make it bulge up there again okay so we're looking at this kind of animation okay that's our cloth pinned with a weight map at the top as you can see weight map is what's holding it together object mode it's just this is a force of habit just to smooth it out okay so we're going to create the chain mail we're going to say add a torus to this so there's the one Let's duplicate that out uh, rotate about 90 degrees duplicate that one move it out and let's join these shapes so go join okay so this is what I'm gonna be copying you know instancing across this shape here so for that I'm going to go to uh, geometry nodes and in the geometry nodes, you just basically create it there. Tab, instance, point, instance. So we're going to be instancing that shape across the points. So if I click on that, it should appear there. Obviously, that does not look right. So I'm going to be changing the size here. Uh, do that. You know, basically scale it down until until everything looks the way it should look. Let's just go into that, scale it down even more, and we should start getting something that looks like chainmail. There we go. So basically, with geometry nodes, this shape has been instanced across the base shape there, and that's it. Voila. Let's uh, let's cash this out and see what it does. Bakel Dynamics. And obviously, what I've done because there's an offset. Okay, because there's an offset in the shape. So let's go. Set does it. That's what we should do. Okay, so that was one last checkpoint. And there we go. Chainmail. 
Woohoo! Awesome.